Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tiffany and today I'm going to be doing my January favourites. So if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my Instagram and subscribe to my channel and we'll get right into this. So I am really hoping I can do a favourites video every month this year. Let's just start with January and see how it goes, but fingers crossed I can do it. I like to divide my favourites into sections. I think we'll start with fashion, then beauty, lifestyle stuff, and then like TV shows and all the other just bits I'm enjoying. Okay, so let's dive right in. With fashion, I won't lie to you, I'm not buying clothes anymore because we're just not going anywhere. The first two lockdowns I was buying clothes thinking I'll enjoy you at some point and then we're here now. So now I'm rather than just having clothes sitting in my wardrobe that are collecting like dust and just having tags on, I'm buying shoes. So, the first pair of shoes that I got are these Balenciaga Speed Trainers. I've wanted another pair of Speed for a really long time because I've got the all black ones and they're like the perfect like dark shoe to go with most outfits but I've wanted like a lighter pair for a while so a pair of a white sole and then a colour that's dark enough that I can wear with lots of outfits but not like pitch black that it just brings the whole outfit dark and down if that makes sense so this is like the perfect in between because it's got the white sole it's got the black base so that it doesn't get messy because I don't want like all mess on there where I'm stepping and then this part is like a lovely grey and black mesh material and it's just nice enough that I can wear with most things I'd wear my black ones with but now in summer my outfit won't look too like all black if that makes sense. Anyway I've envisioned it perfectly in my head and I'm so happy with these. I got these from Mr Porter um, the men's section because I don't have this style for, or this colour um, colourway for ladies and because I'm size 6 that's the smallest size you can get in the men's section. Um, fun fact, Balenciaga, if you're size 39, it's the same measurement for ladies and men's. And men's always have better colours on sale. The ladies always have like neon yellow and green and stuff. But in the men's section, you can get really nice dark colours on sale. So yes, absolutely love these. Um, ordering from Mr. Porter is an Olympic sport. It took me like, I think I ordered these like five times before I finally secured them. That's a story for another day. <laughs> but yes, I'm so absolutely happy with these. And with shoes, I don't feel as guilty buying those because I know I'll enjoy them more. And I could could wear them just walking to the post office or walking food shopping. But with like clothes, when you're buying clothes that you know you might even grow out of that style. Whereas shoes, I feel like at the age I'm at now, I'm, more, I'm getting more shoes that I'll enjoy for longer periods of time. I'm, you know, talking like this to sort of justify my next shoe purchase. <laughs> So I got these Louis Vuitton Drops Flats Half Boots. These I've wanted for so long. I wanted them last year and in a year they've increased by like a, I think £150. So this year I was like nope I have to get them. Even though I'm not wearing them now because obviously these are like good wellies or snow boots. I know these, these are a timeless piece that I'll get to enjoy and at the point now I'm just buying things to avoid the price increases for next winter but these are a pair of shoes I feel like I'll really enjoy like in the future and more winters to come which is why I decided to invest in these but I absolutely love them I love the LV print on them they're so heavy and durable and just really well made I mean I've got a whole unboxing video which I'll like link in the cards above if you want to see that but yeah I just can't wait to enjoy these and I, I'm very aware that it probably will not be this winter. Everyone and their nan got snow on Sunday other than me and I was so mad seeing everyone enjoy the snow. I'm like, what about me? I want to take a cute snow picture. But anyway, I know that I'll be able to enjoy these for years to come. So yeah, these are one of my absolute favourite shoe purchases this month. I did get another pair of shoes, but I'll put a picture of what the shoes look like. They may be getting returned. Well, they are going to get returned because... They came with a mark on and now I have to see if I can exchange them or return them because they were like one of them shoes that like release date and I had to like quickly hunt to go and get my size in. I'm like, you know when it's proper like oh limited release shoes, I don't know if they're going to be able to exchange it but we'll see. They may be in my February favourites. But anyway, that is it for fashion. I'm trying, I'm in the balance of just don't buy things, you're not going anywhere but treat yourself like the world's not over. But anyway, that's me justifying the shoes that I've bought. The next section will do beauty. So I've really been enjoying like Glossier products. Um, I think where I'm not wearing makeup other than when I film now, when I do wear makeup, it feels like so heavy on my face. Like now I can't believe that I used to paint my face like this like 
five six days a week and go out and feel like no way about it now it feels like i've like smothered layers and layers in my face so it's really not that much so i've been really trying to go for this like natural glam sort of vibe recently so i've been enjoying the glossier and um, viney lick i think that's how you pronounce it anyway the viney lick um lip high shine liqueur but yeah it's almost like a lip stain um liquid lip sort of thing but i really i'm wearing it now in the color driver and i really really like the natural sort of color it gives like obviously it's not uh, my lips aren't actually this color but it looks more like a tinted color rather than like a high shiny gloss sort of thing so yeah i'm really enjoying like glossier's products what i what else i'm enjoying from them is their boy brow so i got it in the black and the clear color the clear i think is only good if you've got naturally thick brow so that was that one was a no from me but the black one is really really good i love just like if i've got like a zoom call or a catch up with friends or fit like a long facetime or anything like that or a skype work meeting you know all them sort of things i just do a quick of that um quick, quick bit of that and use like just a bit of powder and it's just a really really good for like that quick natural vibe makeup so that and their brow flick i've really been enjoying and then obviously obviously their signature glosses which they're known for absolutely sorry i put everything back in the packaging because i'm still just really like oh my gosh glossier like so cute so yeah i've really been enjoying like all of their products recently their foundation and stuff, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. So maybe that'll be in next month's favourites if I enjoy it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying Glossier stuff. Next is sort of lifestyle things. So I don't know about you, but this third lockdown is feeling very different <laughs> compared to the first two ones. So what I've been really enjoying and just finding really therapeutic is my bullet journaling. So I've got the Amanda Rachel Lee bullet journal and this um, I got end of December to start the, to hopefully bullet journal for the whole year and if you haven't already got a bullet journal this is really really good quality one it took like less than two weeks to come to the UK and that was including like Christmas and like um New Year time so yeah bullet journaling has just been like so therapeutic and enjoyable for me um this year I, before I would always like do a nice spread for the month and then like fill in a week or two and by the end of the month there's just loads and loads of gaps whereas this year I don't know what it is maybe it's just the third lockdown I just really needed to like get my thoughts out of my head and just like document how I'm feeling and I've not missed a day yet and we're nearly through the whole of January and bullet journaling I mean I'll show you my spread <laughs> for January you can do like all sorts you don't have to be able to draw like I just buy stickers and I just like um I won't show you what I've written but I do like my daily um thoughts and like what my goals and things are and yeah it's just a really a mood boards and things again I've got another video about this so I'll put that above up there but just being able to document my thoughts and get them out of my head and just I've really found this like therapeutic and I'm hoping I can keep up how I've done with it this month like for the whole year again to like link into that I've been enjoying my Instax mini link um printer I love like just taking Polaroids and pictures and just documenting and taking memories I love vlogging all that sort of stuff so just being able to like document my memories whether they're good or bad during this period we're in I've just really enjoyed just being able to take pictures of things and have them like physical like as much as I love having pictures on my phone having like physical pictures just another layer for me I love like sticking them in my bullet journal as well I've got a section where I'm going to stick a picture for each month of the year so yeah being able to print off pictures on demand for this is just really handy and I absolutely recommend this if you haven't got an Instax camera or anything like that and the final section that I'm enjoying just things like tv shows so I've got my list on my iPad I'm really really enjoying um the circle USA on Netflix somebody tweeted saying I've never pressed like next episode so fast and I was like oh my gosh same like the circle USA I mean I haven't watched the UK seasons before but just this one was just on Netflix I thought okay let me just see the hype about this and it was such a good season like, I won't give like any giveaways but if you're looking for something to watch definitely check out the circle USA another thing I enjoyed was humans that's an old channel 4 show that I've noticed is on Netflix now I remember watching a bit of it at the time when it came out but just being in uni so not being able to keep up with it but now I'm really really enjoying it and it just makes me think about the future of like oh my gosh what is the world gonna be like in the future but anyway I won't give away too many giveaways with that 
And another show I've enjoyed is um, RuPaul's Drag Race. So the new season's come out and that's on Netflix. So I think it comes in the UK. Like I see it every Saturday morning. So that's when I watch it and just catch up on the week. I don't avoid Twitter just so I don't see any spoilers. But yeah, I'm enjoying RuPaul's Drag Race. And the UK season is starting as well. So I need to catch up on that actually. I think we're one episode in on that already on BBC iPlayer. But yes, really, really enjoying that. And Bridgerton, I'm getting into that now as well because I saw like literally everyone on the planet was watching that so I need to catch up on that and see what all the hype is about. But yes, I think that is everything from me this month. So let me know what your favourites are this month. Comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram so we can catch up on there and have a chat and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.